Molly the Yellow Engine This is a story about Molly, a bright yellow engine. Molly didn't think she was very special because she only pulled empty trucks. But one night, Molly realized just how useful she was. It was a blustery evening on the island of Sodor. Thomas was passing through one of his favorite stations. Toot toot, called Thomas to the station master. Tom Thomas liked this station because every evening the station master put up lots of lanterns along the platform. But Thomas was also busy thinking about the next day. I wonder what Molly, the new engine, will be like, he chuffed. When Thomas pulled into Brenham Docks the next morning, he spotted Molly straight away. She was waiting in a siding, looking very sad. What's the matter? puffed Thomas. Emily made fun of me because I have to take empty trucks to the coaling plant, replied Molly sadly. Just then the signal turned red. Gordon thundered past with the express with the express. You wait there, he chuffed. My express is more important than your empty trucks. Molly chugged off very sadly. As Thomas wondered what he could do, the wind blew over some containers covered in tarpaulin. The tarpaulin began, began to rustle. That's it, puffed Thomas happily and raced off to find Molly. With the help of Molly's driver, Thomas and Molly covered her trucks with the tarpaulin. With your trucks covered, no one will know they are empty, explained Thomas. We'll make them think you are carrying a very special delivery. Thomas spent a busy day telling everyone about Molly's special. Percy and Edward were talking to Thomas at, in Knapford Station when Gordon pulled in. I don't care what you say, Thomas, puffed Gordon. Nothing can be as important as my express. It can, chugged Thomas angrily. Be at Abbey Station tonight and you will see just how special Molly's special is. As the engines pulled away, Thomas realized what he had said. How am I going to make Molly special even more special? Thomas chuffed thoughtfully. He pulled into his favorite station just as the station master was lighting his lanterns. This gave Thomas another idea. Can I borrow your lanterns? He puffed. Although the station master was a little curious, he was happy to lend Thomas his lanterns. Thomas loaded up his trucks and sped off. That evening, Molly waited for Thomas at the coaling plant. Hello, Molly, puffed Thomas happily. I have had another idea about how to make your special even more special. And Thomas told Molly about his plan. Very soon, Molly was covered in lanterns and heading happily for Abbey Station. Toot! Toot! whistled Percy and Emily as Molly arrived at the station. I feel very special, chuffed Molly, with a big smile on her face. Thank you, Thomas. Suddenly, a big gust of wind blew right through the station. It lifted the top pollen covering Molly's empty trucks and blew out the lanterns. Everyone could see that there was nothing underneath. I knew your trucks wouldn't be as important as my express, chuffed Gordon, smiling. Molly screeched out of the station. She wanted to be as far away from all the other engines as possible. Well, chuffed Emily, what are you going to do now, Thomas? Poor Molly, you have, you have just made her look very silly. Thomas, the station master called across the platform. Where's Molly? The fat controller has just phoned. There are engines waiting at the coaling plant. They need Molly's empty trucks so they can deliver the coal. Thomas raced out of the yard looking for Molly. He went all around the island. 
Eventually, he found Molly stopped in a siding. I'm very sorry, apologized Thomas, but I have some really good news for you, he chuffed merrily. Your empty trucks are very important. They need them at the coaling plant right now. But I've nearly run out of coal, sobbed Molly, more upset than ever. Don't worry, chuffed Thomas. I'll help you. Okay, Thomas. You push and I'll pull, puffed Molly. Very soon, the two engines were working together to get Molly and her empty trucks to the coaling plant. The coaling plant engines were very glad to see Molly and her empty trucks. Quick, quick, they chugged. We need to start our deliveries and we need your empty trucks to carry the coal. Look how important your trucks are, puffed Thomas. She was so proud it made her axles tingle. More trucks, more trucks, called out Henry. I'll get more trucks. Molly couldn't wait to begin pulling empty trucks again. And I'll help, puffed Thomas. Molly and Thomas raced back to the yard to pick up some more trucks. Just as they were leaving the yard with their empty trucks, the signal turned to red. But this time, Gordon and his, and his express had to wait. Out of the way, puffed Molly. Empty trucks coming through. You see, laughed Thomas. Sometimes empty trucks are more important than your express. Molly felt even more special. Now she knew what it was like to be a really useful engine. She was never going to feel bad about pulling empty trucks again. The end.